What's up everyone, it's Nabeo here and today we are all disappointed. When I say we, I mean as an Apple fan. Every single Apple fan would be disappointed because Apple has made some pretty dramatic and disastrous decisions this year. And first of all, let's talk about the latest iPhone smart battery case. How is it even smart? I don't know. I mean, does that tell me when my mom's going to beat me up? Or does it tell me that something's going to happen? I mean, it's, it's not smart in any way. It hasn't got on and off button. It doesn't tell me the battery level unless I take it off completely and then I press the button and see it's at the back of the case. It's got only 17 or 1800 milliamps of power. What the hell? How do you explain that when you pay £75? And another thing is, I have iPhone 6 Plus and how am I meant to charge this? Because at the moment I can't see anything for iPhone 6 Plus with the power case. Now another mind-boggling thing is that you can actually see some other products from other companies on Apple's website that are way cheaper. For example, I saw this power bank and that costs only £29.99. I mean, what? How do you expect people to buy your £75 charging case when you have something for £29.99 and that's got more capacity than your freaking charging case? Now let's talk about design. What is it? Is it a freaking milky bar just designed by Apple or what? It looks like a milky bar, I mean it's just a bigger version of milky bar you stuck at the back of a freaking silicon case. It's disappointing. A lot of people out there are actually disappointed by Apple designs. For example, the Apple Pencil charging. How do you explain that? Do you, do you expect people to just break in and buy a new one? No, thank you. I'm not doing that. Just find me an alternative to charge it, you know, more cleverly or more sensibly in a way. And then we have Magic Mouse. You charge it while it's tilting like this and you plug the stupid USB like this and it has to be just like this. Why does it need to rest like this? I mean, why couldn't you put a charging port right there or right at the back, side, this side, top? Why does it have to be stupidly put like this and be charged? And then we have iOS 9.1. That was a disastrous upgrade I have ever done to my iOS software. It was buggy, it was slow, it messed up my phone a lot in a lot of ways. I was so happy to see when they have launched 9.2 last night and I just went on my computer straight away, updated it. I was like, that's it, I'm done with having buggy software. Apple needs to step up their game. I mean, they need to look at what consumers want, not what they think is a best idea to get consumers money. I mean, it doesn't work like that anymore because there are a lot of competitors out there that Apple need to compete with and they need to think of all the possible ways to compete against them rather than just thinking one thing that is, oh, we need to take money from the consumers and oh, we need to think of the ways to how to take money from the consumers. I mean, it's just disastrous and disappointing anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video i really hope that i haven't disappointed a lot of you because i am an apple fan trust me i have a macbook Air. i have you know iphone then i have new apple tv i even have a canon camera that i've put apple sticker all over just to make it look apple -y. so yeah thank you very much for watching and please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe i see you in the next video bye